I guess. Today we uh, tie another sea bass fly. Um, today we tie it on a on a carp hook. Well, it's a really nice hook with a really big bend and a really nice hook setting. And um, we were quite successful with this one already. And um, yeah, it's the Kevin Maddock Hero 2 hook from Partridge. And um, what we do tie is uh, just with angel hair, this uh, magic minnow. Um, similar like the uh, Swedish guys fished it in the Perch Pro. And um, I'm just having <laughs> two colors left, so we tie it today in uh, yellow with a uh, pink hat. And um, really, it is a really good sea bass fly because you can tie it really quick, really easy and uh, don't spend too much work on it. We start with the thread, just a few thread wraps till the hook point and then we just place our material on top and it really, it is so simple, everyone can do it. It's just grabbing the material, just a good bunch, tie it in just somewhere. It really doesn't, nobody really cares what you do with it. It always looks good. That's the really nice thing about this material. Just fold it back, tie it down, and you can just, the fibers that are loose, you just tie in again, like that. Just fold it back, it really is as simple as that. Take some more, if you don't want them so long, you can just rip them in the middle, they're not really strong. So, they do lose its quality while fishing on seabass, but usually you don't have your flies long anyway. You just tie it in around the hook. So all of the hook is covered. And we just fold it back a bit and move it around the hook. There's really nothing you can do wrong while tying these strings. And they're so light and nice to cast, even in the wind. It's uh, quite a nice pattern for sea bass, really. Um, but a smaller sea bass pattern, so for the early season it really works good. And uh, you can tie it in every different color there is in the market. Thousands of colors, and you can see on Perch Pro how successful this pattern can be on Perch. And the same it is on Sea Bass when they're around, they just feed on it like crazy. So you can just brush it out a bit. A super easy fly, nearly finished already. Just take the material in the brush again. It's uh, nice and curly now after brushing, gets a lot of volume. Just tie it down again. And then we move to our pink colored angel fiber. I think it's angel fiber or angel hair, what's it called? Um, and we'll just tie it in, take a bigger bunch for the head. I ripped the fibers in two. And then just tie it down. And, um, I think I, yeah, I got these, um, this angel hair or angel fiber from, from ADH Fishing. Uh, you can check if I find it and I can put the link in the description. Um, that's it. I just make a knot in the head. Maybe the second one to secure it. And then the fly is finished. Put a little bit of glue onto the fly. Really not much. The bowl is nearly empty. It should be fine when we just brush it out. It just makes the fly look so nice. And when they're wet, they just look amazing because they are just so kind of translucent. Um, the fibers are just just blending really nice, and it seems more orange than. Uh, in, in the transition part than actually yellow and pink. But, uh, yeah, so this fly is finished. Um, I usually put some eyes on it. But I'll take uh, these really small ones. I think these are 6 mm eyes. A little bit harder to find. But they are available. These I got from Mark. And I really like this color. Um, it's like a pearly blue shimmery, really nice for, for ocean patterns in my opinion. 
and uh, we just, as with all the fiber streamers, just uh, glue them on. I did it in the beginning, and I just glued them on, but you really need this um, glue layer in between, otherwise you just glue them onto the fibers and uh, they move around the hook and are not attached to the shank and then you lose them pretty quickly. Um, of course you lose a little bit of movement in the beginning then because the head is getting a bit stiff but it's better than to lose your eyes after 10 casts. So just put a little bit of glue in between and then just a little bit of glue onto the needle, not much. And here it's important that you really, because the fibers are thin, that you put the eye on and move it out in fiber direction. Otherwise you have a big mess there. Same with um, when you tie, for example, with craft fur. Always move the uh, needle out with the glue uh, in fiber direction. Otherwise you just pull the fibers with yourself because they are stuck to the, um, to the, uh, to the glue on the needle and you have a big messy head and you don't want to have that. So, put the eyes on, like that, and then let them dry for a second. So, eyes are dry, just brush it out a bit, just to get it in shape. Really, this fly just looks amazing when it's wet. It's not the best fly to tie on an instructional video because it doesn't make you look like a really poor tire. <laughs> but I can promise you, underwater, this looks like a real bait fish with crazy colors though, because uh, they were the only one remaining. So try that out.